Hi guys, and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Uh, when we last left off, we had collected skin, blood, bone, and hair. For some reason, it doesn't show the last thing you collected, but trust me, we did. You were there, I was there, it was terrifying. And we've got this lovely portrait of a severed torso with no jaw. Um, so that's nice. Why don't we continue on and, uh, and ha have some more happy fun times in this lovely house of quiet solitude. Oh my god, it gets so quiet. Okay, um... Okay! Oh, it's the clock! <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The horror ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> okay... I, you know, I was a little dubious at first about the voice actor, but the the more he descends into madness, the more I'm liking his performance. So kudos to whoever you are, man. You're sufficiently creeping me out, which means you're doing a good job. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet. Things are... Things are getting... Excuse me! Excuse me! Honestly! Things are getting, um... Really... What's going on? Okay, I gotta get out of here. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh! We almost missed this! Floor creepers. Traps in the floor. Devouring my foot. Afraid to walk. Yes. Look at that. We almost missed that. These are getting really, really tense. Really tense. Oh, man. Just those sound effects alone are creeping me out. That's a very, very, very big painting. Okay. Well, you know. Everybody has their style. No, no things here. There are no things. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's getting further away? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Oh boy, what is this? Oh god. Oh, for fuck's sake! Could someone shut up that damn dog? The scratching and squeaking behind the walls is bad enough. Oh, you didn't kill the dog, did you? Really? Ah. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Ah! <laughs> what? What is that? Is that an eye? Ah! Ah! Oh God, it's everywhere. Fuck. Oh, it's so loud. Oh my god. Holy cow. That was so loud. <laughs> Oh, there was nothing in this room in the... 
It was... Hmm. It was my madness. My madness was getting in the way again. Oof. All right. Okay. You know, I've noticed that these mice keep running across the floor. I, I like that. That's a nice touch. This boarded up room again. Hmm, what? Um. Okay. Oh, we have another... You know what? Call me paranoid. We have another note here. Canvas crawler's mass of pulsating fur, poison to paint. Fire, final solution. <laughs> yeah, um, that's one way to deal with your rodent problem. Oh, oh, fuck! What are you? What are you? Oh. Okay. Wow. Ooh, look at the rat. Oh, fuck, that's creepy. Is that supposed to be his wife? Is that his wife? <gasps> oh, man. Oh, I'm supposed to touch it, aren't I? Oh. Ah! What? Do what is going on? Ooh! Okay. Ah! Oh my God! There's rats everywhere. They're coming right out of the painting. Oh, it's so loud. Am I standing in fire? No, I'm not standing in fire. Here things. There are things. Oh, a dead rat. I'm telling you, there are rodents everywhere in this shithole. Maybe if you stopped feeling sorry for yourself all day long, you would have noticed them as well. Wow, he's really losing it. Oh, <gasps> they're looking at me, guys. There's rats everywhere. Oh, they're so cute. Aww. Okay, we're gonna leave. Oh, boy. Is this the way we have to go? Really? 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 Okay. Gulp. Okay, so what happened there? Death is but a lair. Did I die? Was I supposed to run from the rats? I didn't really have a lot of time to run from the rats. But none of the rats. Is it all worth it? You know, I often wonder, is it all... Oh, not you again! Not you again. Oh, this is the same hallway, too. 
Oh, you better not. You better not do what I think you're gonna do. I'm just get the fuck out of here. <sighs> okay. More dead rats. Okay. Okay. Don't look back. Don't look back. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, why did I look back? Oh god! Oh. Stupid, 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 stupid! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. This whole time I've been saying, I'm not going to turn around. I'm not going to look back. And when it, the game tells me not to look back, like a gullible idiot that I am. Oh god, my heart is racing so fast right now. Was So that was my wife. Oh god, that was so creepy. Oh. Oh, oh man. So we've gone from amnesia to like Silent Hill PT, which is just really damn cool. I gotta say, actually. Ooh, wow. Oh my god, that was that terrified me. Get off my fucking back! This is what helps put money on the table. It's not like you're any help to me anymore. <laughs> Superior old bourbon whiskey helps me put money on the table. Is that because that's his inspiration these days? Is getting loaded and then painting? Okay. Well, whatever. Uh. So I, I think I died a second time when she. Well, I mean, obviously when she got me. Well, that sucks. So I guess uh, death is but a lair. That's interesting. I wonder. My dearest wife, I know that the past few months have been devastating. I know that I should have been more supportive, more caring, more selfless. I still can't believe <laughs> some of the writing is hard. Some of the things I said to you, I guess I was never meant to be a great husband or father. I thought I could be a great artist, but that dream has ended as well. In its absence, I will do my best to treat you with all the love and compassion you deserve. You are the love of my life, my muse. You will never read this letter. I am so sorry. Interesting, interesting. So he was trying to assuage his guilt, perhaps? and uh, needed to write this letter to his wife. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anytime there's a brick wall, I think that there's gonna be a jump. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I'm feeling a little Okay. All right. Um. You'll excuse me if I'm feeling a little bit trepidatious about creepy baby sounds. I got this thing with creepy babies. Um. I don't like them. Is that is that bad? Is it bad to not like creepy babies? I mean, you know, they're they're a beautiful gift and, and everything, but uh damn it they're creepy. A little pain goes a long way. Wow, that is really, really locked. Really locked. Like amnesia locked. Oh, we got a chain here. What do I do with the, I oh okay, I pull on it. What? <gasps> what is that doing?
Oh my god. Is there a guy back there? <gasps> I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Um Oh god, it's not open yet? Really? Uh, uh sorry, sorry. I just I just have to do this one more time, okay? Maybe four or five more times? I- I'm sorry! Oh, now it's open. Oh my god, that's dark. Please be a light switch. Okay, okay, good. Light's good. I like light. Light is my friend. Not in this game, it's not. There's another rat. Interesting. I'm noticing that rat seems to show up anytime there's like an intersection of like four different hallways. August 11th. Let's consider our options. Knife, pros, quick, personal, painful. Cons, too messy, might not have the strength to pull it off. Painkiller overdose, pros, readily available, easy to administer. Cons, not painful enough, wouldn't learn him a lesson. Pros, quick and easy. Cons, would need to get it first. Oh, sorry. Gun. Pro <laughs> I suck. Gun. Pros. Quick and easy. Cons. Would need to get it first. We wouldn't want him to die too quickly. Okay. Rat poison. Pros. Easily obtainable. Beautifully ironic considering his recent obsession. Cons. Might be too long. Poison paint. Pros. Poetic. Cons. Which poison? Where would we get it from? Ooh, boy. This, things are not good. <laughs> you, you fucking took it from me! My gift! I want it back, you hear me? I will bring you back! Drag if I have to! I will make it right, honey, I promise! I will make you right! Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. So, so let's let's have a, a little aside here and talk about the recent developments in this game. So uh, we've got a guy who's a mad painter. He was clearly very skilled, although perhaps slightly mentally disturbed. He had a beautiful wife who was his muse, and he he did some of his best work. Uh, thanks to her. And then the fire happened. She got horribly burnt in this accident that happened. She came back home to live, but she was this gruesome version of her former self. He was repulsed by her, and he began to resent and hate her. Then he began to obsess about things like rats in the house. Um and blame basically everybody but himself for falling into kind of a psychotic depression. And now the reason we're doing this, the reason we're putting the pieces back together or, or, or using pieces of her to make this masterpiece of art that he believes he's making is because he, um, she was his muse, and he he believes that using her actual body will will make him great again. Bam! Nailed it. Game over. Now we're going up again. And up. Okay, I love you so as oh as above so below. Ooh, I love that. Oh. What's happening? Hello? 
Hello, I'm I seem to be stuck. Hello? I I'm stuck in the elevator. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, just stay. Again. Okay. Oh God! I'm gonna die. My heart is racing so fast. I don't want to play this game anymore. Why did I think this was a good idea? I hate you. I hate you. I hate this house. I hate this game. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. Um. What is this? Okay, something bad happened here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought that was a note. Um, okay. Uh, I, is there a way? No, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, my vision is swimming. Oh, what do I do? Maybe I can close the door? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Um, we'll do that. Sorry about that, I got interrupted by a phone call. All right. Hey, it happens, you know? It happens. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah, it feels nice to be in a well-lit room with no strange glitching wife monster. Let's, hold on, let's check this out first. Ha, <laughs> you changed! 363. Okay, thank you. Another gross rat. Oh, what do we have here? Baby face, the monster painting. Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. Can you be an enthusiast of mediocrity? 
I'm gonna say maybe they meant mediocre enthusiasts. Anyways, in reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. I don't know what that's like at all. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous... something. Dun dun dun. Okay. I guess we'll answer the dang phone. More lights, please. More lights. All the lights. Three, three, six, three. I'm gonna guess that's the phone number. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Answering the phone. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, you have to drag it. Oh, I love that. Show of hands, who, who was alive when rotary phones were a thing? I was! <gasps> Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's amazing! <gasps> oh, it's like an Escher painting! Trippy! Oh, I want to go up there. Can I go up there, please? Game? Game! Come on, let me go up there. You're crazy, game. Are you- is the doll ringing? I can't do- oh! No, I didn't forget. I just don't give a shit anymore. You're the mother. Do something useful for once. What, are you fucking deaf now as well? Let me work! Holy hell. Wow, you're not winning any Father of the Year awards with that. Jesus. Oh, I wanna go up there. It looks so cool. You're so crazy, dude. I love how crazy you are. I wanna be this crazy. Well, no. No, I take it back. But still, look how colorful it is! What is up there? What's that? Oh, are there just... Doors? Okay. Sorry, 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 I just... Oh, that's so cool. Very artistic. This is... That is an example of... Art... In game design right there. We're telling a visual story with the design of the level itself. Like, way beyond even what we were doing with the placement of mouse traps and notes and stuff. Like, this is hardcore. What is going on? I thought I... Yeah, yeah. I answered the, the ringing party hat. What do I do? Oh, things are shaking. What do I do? Oh, there's a... Oh. oh so cool. All right, let's check this out. Oh, thank you for playing the early access version of Layers of Fear. We hope you enjoyed it, and we can't wait to hear your feedback. Stay tuned for more madness. Oh, I wanted I wanted to finish it. I, I forgot it was an early access. Well, I, I didn't forget, but I wanted it to keep going. Wow. Well, <sighs> bravo. <laughs> that was awesome. I loved every second of that game. It brought back amnesia. It mixed in elements of PT, which I thought was really cool, whether intentionally or not. 
it, the jump scares were numerous but inventive. The the way the house would change just with the 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 way you'd move your mouse around, like like a room would change just on your perspective alone, which is incredible to me. The level design was gorgeous. The the time period that totally nailed that. The voice acting got better and better throughout the whole thing. I I liked the I like the element of the rats and the collectibles there. That was kind of cool. A little more puzzles or, or some puzzles would have been kind of cool or maybe a, a chase scene where you're running from the monster would have been neat. I don't, maybe I was supposed to do that when the rats were chasing coming down the hallway. I don't know. I didn't have any cues to do that. The art, whoever is the artist, did a fantastic job. Sound design was spot on. The ambience was great. The composer, my hat is off to him or her because it, it's just phenomenal music. This is like triple A title quality here. And we got it out of a development team of four or five people in Poland, which is amazing to me. I love that we live in an age when you can get such amazing experience from a really small, passionate group of people who who just love what they do. And, uh, and I believe that this was actually funded through Kickstarter, if I remember correctly. So kudos to everybody who funded it. Cause th obviously these guys were onto a really good idea and I cannot wait to finish this off you know, play the rest of the levels, experience whatever scares there are left. Uh, it looks at least there's at least two levels left, if not more. And I can't wait for that. I, I you know, I, I think it's it's good that they gave us a taste. We don't know how this is going to get resolved. We've got enough to kind of figure out why we're here and what we're doing. Um, but but it, it leaves us kind of gra um, grasping at straws to figure out how it's all going to conclude. And I think that was a very clever uh, idea on the team of uh, on the part of Team Bloober. And I think that putting it to the to, to the players themselves as to new ideas and great ways to scare people to finish off the game is a really creative concept as well. So they really seem to care about their community and they really seem to care about this game very much. And I, I appreciate that so much. As for you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed the heck out of playing this and I want to do more. I think that that this is something I'd like to do, maybe not all the time, but you know, fairly often. There's a lot of great games to, to experience and a lot of great indie horror games. And I think that would that alone that uh, would be would be fun to explore on this channel, which is very oriented towards horror in general as well as uh, the appreciation for all the elements that go into playing video games and making and creating video games. You know, I like I said, I've got plenty of other audio productions I have coming down the pipe. I'd like to do more monologues. I'm working on an original song. I'd like to do another cover song. There's all this stuff I want to do for the channel. I only have so much f available time to do it, and I'm spread across multiple different projects, inc including Chilling Tales for Dark Nights and the No Sleep podcast, uh, as well as my own day job and everything like that. So I squeeze this stuff in when I can. This is a great way for me to get some content out to you guys without putting ridiculous amounts of time and effort into something. It, it you know, it takes minimum like 40 hours to, to create an audio production but I get to have fun and play a game and talk to you guys doing this and it takes considerably less less effort which is not to say it takes no effort but um but I like that it's something that I can do to kind of punctuate uh in between those those various different audio production releases that I want to do I'm going to put the question to you would you like to see more of this if so Please give me your suggestions for games that you'd like me to play. Right now, I'm limited to only having a PC. I do, I have I, I have consoles, but I don't have anything to hook them up to. Well, I really only have the PS3. But anyways, I'm not really interested in, in doing console games. I'd like to do PC games. There's all kinds of great stuff out there. There's games that I have purchased, but haven't actually installed and played because I haven't had the time. And this is a perfect venue to, to do that. And I'd like to try to keep it generally in the indie game and especially horror indie game 
because uh, they're a lot of fun and, and there's a lot of great stuff out there. But I wouldn't necessarily only do that. But I'd like to, I'd like to explore more, you know, uh, other games kind of in this ilk that I think there was one, uh, the vanishing of Ethan Carter, uh, which I saw on Steam and I purchased. I just haven't had the chance to play it yet, which is w what I was thinking of maybe doing as a follow up to this. But yeah, uh, you know. You give me your ideas. Uh, I'd love to hear them, and I'll certainly uh, I'll listen to what everybody has to say, and uh, and steer the ship from there. So I'll stop talking your ear off. I have a real tendency to do that. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Thanks for you know encouraging me to continue through the series. I loved 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 doing this, and I'd love to do it again uh, sometime soon. If you would like to, please feel free to like to comment, to subscribe, join in the discussion, check out my Facebook page, I've got a Twitter account, you know, all the various different social media, it's all in the, in the description. And, uh, you know, don't hesitate to connect with me. I, I try my very hardest to reply to just about every comment that I get, because I uh, I like that interaction, it's a lot of fun. So right now, it's 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 great to have the ability to to get in touch with you guys directly like that. Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it guys, and I hope to bring you lots of more great content in the future. Cheers.